All right, everyone, this module is going to focus on accreditation and a couple different regulatory compliance issues that we may see out in the workforce. Um, so let's start with uh, just what is accreditation and what does that mean? Um, and most facilities out in the healthcare field are going to be seeking some type of accreditation. Um, and, and what accreditation really says to uh, the, the outsider looking in is that this facility you know, abides and, and meets by certain rules and regulations, and it meets certain quality indicators that have been set out. So there really have to be some incentives in place, too, on the healthcare facility side for the facilities to want to go out and see, uh, seek accreditation. And one of the main ones that's going to be noted out there is reimbursement. Um, your reimbursement structure as a facility uh, is oftentimes going to be affected by your accreditation status or not. Um, and what you're going to see uh, most facilities go out and try to achieve is Joint Commission accreditation. And we're going to talk about that throughout the lecture today. Now I've got a video here that does go over um, Joint Commission. I'm not going to play it within the context of this lecture slide, but you do have uh, access to it. If you'll go in a, and watch it, it's just a short little video, just a couple minutes long, um, and then come back, we'll finish going through the rest of the slides. So you can see um, from an accreditation standpoint, particularly around acute care facilities like hospitals, we have a lot of different metrics that we're going to try and hit as a, as a facility. So we have to you know, be cognizant of everything listed here on this slide. One thing I want to point out, um, life safety measures. Now this is one I get asked a lot, what is that really? You know, healthcare uh, facilities do have to be very cognizant of you know, do they have the right amount of sprinklers installed? Um, is everything uh, compliant with the American Disabilities Act? Things like that. Um, so you can see we have a lot of different metrics that we're trying to hit as healthcare facilities. And you can imagine how large these regulation books come. Um, I think the last life safety regulation book that came out was probably about four inches thick. Um, so, so they do get pretty tenuous um, and pretty lengthy to, to, to work with. So in terms of long-term care facilities, um, they're, they operate uh, in terms of accreditation just a little bit differently than the acute care setting. In acute care, we're typically going after Joint Commission accreditation. Um, in long-term care facilities, Joint Commission accreditation is available, but you don't find uh, many LTCs going after Joint Commission. It's not very common or very typical. Um, uh, Long-term care facilities usually obtain their accreditation through state agencies, through their surveys. Um, who who have been granted authority by CMS. So the state agency will come in, do their survey, and that'll satisfy the requirements for CMS. So the survey process, um, if you have been through one, you know, I'd really like to hear about your experience. If you haven't, just wait till you go through your first survey experience um, when you get out to start working. They're very, they can be very stressful uh, because they are so comprehensive. We're looking at every nook and cranny under every piece of paper. Um, the surveys get very, very lengthy and very, very comprehensive. Um, because what we're looking to see, you know, keeping the patient in the forefront of all of this, what we're looking to see um, is has the healthcare facility followed all of their outline processes and procedures? Um, are, are they pretty much doing what they say they're doing? So the on-site survey process, it, it can be a little stressful. So one last thing to note, um, make sure that you know what this term deemed status means. Um, and the definitions right there, you know, it means payment for providing healthcare services under Medicare, Medicaid uh, insurance programs. 
And what that, you know, what that is generally saying is that CMS as an organization will allow the Joint Commission to essentially take their place in terms of this surveying process. And that CMS, uh, because the Joint Commission comes in and does their survey and accreditation, CMS is not going to come in and survey in the acute care setting anyway. Now that it is a little different for long-term care as we discussed um, a couple of slides ago. Guys, this was a really short one. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know, but we're going to go ahead and in here, make sure to go back and watch that video. And uh, again, if you have any questions, just let me know.